welcome to another edition of Hoosier Quick Hits. I'm Brennan Farkas. Alongside me, Tyler Ratz. And the Indiana football team had its first Big Ten contest of the season. The number one ranked Ohio State Buckeyes came to Bloomington, and it was a nail-biter till the end. A heartbreaker for the Hoosiers. They lost 27-34. to And Tyler, the crowd was incredible. The atmosphere was just insane. I was down on the field for the first half, and you could just really feel it. I mean, it was the fourth sellout in history, first since 2010. Just kind of talk about that. A lot of the players talked about it after the game. Just the energy coming from the fans, they feel that. And on the field, they really feel that that makes a difference because they're playing for IU. They know that, and they take pride in that. And for all these fans to come out, it's a cold, windy day. Normally, a lot of fans just stay at home. For them to come out for such a big game, they feed off of that. And I think you could see that in their performance tonight, just how energized they were from the fans being here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, thanks to our fans for coming out and everybody that showed up and just our team that played their heart out and for everybody. We work incredibly hard day in and day out. And uh, this, this, this programming, you know, Coach Wilson and all the guys that he's recruited have just been working hard for years. So it, it means a lot to finally get guys out here, get, get a crowd out here. But, uh, you know, we don't want that to just be for this week, coming out of an undefeated game. We want people who really care about this football team. To be here and we appreciate it we really do it makes a difference in the way we play and I think any team in the country would say that so you know it's huge one of the more quiet moments of the game was when starting quarterback Nate Sudfeld went down with an injury he was later replaced by Xander Diamant just kind of talk about his performance he played for most of the second half what did we see from the sophomore quarterback and going into the game IU never anticipates Diamant having to come into the game to replace an injured Sudfeld but looking at Diamond's performance tonight, you have to be pleased if you're an IU fan. He put it all on the field tonight for the Hoosiers, including that 79-yard touchdown run. And Coach Wilson really talked about how he does some things differently than what Sudfeld does, but he's very effective in what he does, especially running the football. You know, he's got different strengths, you know, and weaknesses. It's not a different offense, but you favor things that are more, quote, apropos for him, I guess. But he's a competitor. Uh, got a lot of heart. Teammates rally with him, and he's he's better than he was a year ago. Uh, Xander's a little faster. And, um, he can he can run a little faster. I mean, he brings the same energy to practice. Uh, just a lot of enthusiasm, um, hype. He hype guys up. Uh, he talks a lot, and it's, it's just great over for the overall team. Uh, Xander was great um, coming in. Xander was confident. Uh, that's what I like to see, and uh, he just, he did great. He did great overall. This year, I think the staff, myself. Again, we didn't take any week for granted. There was no day off for me. I wanted every game thinking I was going to play. And uh, yeah, there was no, you know, Xander, you're there was no talk of it. It was like, be ready to go. So I, I've been ready. And uh, again, uh, apart from coming off, you know, cold off a bench, I was ready to play. And while it was a loss for the Hoosiers, they still competed, they battled. Jordan Howard and Nate Sudfeld both were out of the game. So the starting quarterback and running back both didn't play for the majority part of the second half. Just talk about the confidence that the Hoosiers can take away from this one. Again, the number one team in the nation, the defending champs, Kane of Bloomington, and the Hoosiers were able to fight. And before tonight, this IU team has a lot of confidence. And these seniors, they really pride themselves on knowing they can play football, and they showed that tonight. But I think tonight was a little more important for the younger guys. They're playing against the number one team in the country. You hear about the history of Ohio State, and they come to Memorial Stadium, and you take them down to the very last play of the game. This team moving forward will have a lot of confidence, and I think they'll continue to build on this success. And moving forward, we may be looking at a bowl-eligible team. As far as like confidence, we know we're a good defense and, and what we can be, and we're not even close to where we're, we're going to be. And uh, it was just, you know, um, reassuring that we, we are good. And um, I think it let a lot of young guys understand um, it's not just in practice or, or the first three games or four games. Uh, this is something we can be and should be every, every game. You know, I kind of told halftime, I go, you know, even though we talk about, you know, you thought you could play, now you know you can. And, but again, we've had some, we've had the last couple of years, I mean, some games where we've actually played very well. What we have not done has been a consistent team. And this team's a little bit more consistent. I think we could play with anybody in the country. And, um, you know, I, I think people around here are starting to realize that this is a really, really good football team, a really good football program. And we've known that, you know, for the past few years. So, like I said, we can play with anybody. Uh, when, we, when we play as a team, we're really, really good, really good. We've known how good we were, you know, for the last two years. Since I've got here, I, I, there's, I have not gone into a game not thinking we were going to win. And that's the honest truth. By the way, we prepare. You know, Coach Wilson, his confidence and when he gets us ready, we go into every single game thinking we're going to win. 
And, you know, w w having such a great start to the season, again, we thought we were going to win this game. And we weren't even playing our best. You know, we we're not even close yet. So it's, it's very encouraging. And uh, we're just excited for what's to come. It's going to be a great year. Well, that does it for this edition of Hoosier Quick Hits. Again, the Hoosiers fall in the Big Ten season opener to the number one team in the nation, the Ohio State Buckeyes. But it was a close one. The Hoosiers with their first loss of the season as well. They now move to Penn State on the road. We will not be there, but we will have plenty of coverage from this game and more in our next edition of Hoosier Sports Night on Wednesday. So be on the lookout for that. As always, follow us on social media at IUSTV Sports. For Tyler Ratz, I'm Brendan Farkas. Thanks for watching.